Hi everybody, it's Crystal. How is everybody doing today? Thank you for joining me for this uh, fabulous, fabulous, hopefully fabulous yarn unboxing. I don't know how it's going to be because this is from Premier. There's yarns in here that I have not had, but I am excited to try. So, it's always fun to try new yarns and tell, tell you guys about them. It's part of my job on here. I buy the new yarns and I tell you my honest opinion so you can decide for yourself if you want to get them. Remember, I'm not affiliated with Premier. I bought all this yarn myself. I do not have affiliated links. I don't care at all if you buy the yarn. I could care less if you buy it. I only tell you about it and then you can decide if you want to buy it or not. So that's what one thing I do on my channel. And a lot of people like to watch, you know, see the new yarns. I always hope, you know, that I help people. So, like I said, Premier. Um, I ordered this probably about a week ago. It took a little bit longer than usual, I think, because usually when I order from Premier, it's fast. But due to COVID-19, I can imagine that they're uh, a little bit slower. But a week's not too too dang bad. I've waited much longer for a lot less. So, not from Premier, from other places. So let's open this this up and um, see what's in it. It's got some universal yarns now that Premier's carrying and that I've never tried before. Some of them I have, some of them I haven't. Um, and Universal is a good, good brand yarn. Oh, and I did want to tell you right now at the making of this video, 6-12-2020, 6-12-2020, Premier has their mystery bags for $10. I don't have any in here. They just put them on sale today. If you're watching this video, 6-12-2020. Premier usually has pretty good mystery bags. I bought and purchased them several times in the past and I've never been disappointed. I don't know what's going to be in these mystery bags. I cannot tell you. I don't have any in here because I just put them on sale today. But they usually sell out pretty quick because they usually do have pretty good. It's like over a pound of yarn. It's like $10 but it's usually pretty good yarn. And I can't say for certain because I don't know. But I just want to let you guys know in case you're not on Premier's mailing list. They do have their mystery bags. For ten dollars, um, six twelve twenty twenty. If you're interested, you probably want to head on over there and check it out. Read about them first, though, before you buy them. Maybe read the reviews. You know, I don't want to steer you in the wrong direction. But I never got any mystery bags from Premier that I did not like. All right, I'll shut up. I'll shut up. I know you guys are saying shut up. I'd be telling myself, oh no, to shut up too. Okay, open this up. Ooh, look at this. Now let me find the, uh, what's it called? You know, invoice, invoice. So I can tell you what I got. And I'll tell you what, I think I got a heck of a deal on all this yarn in here. And there's no invoice. I'm back. Okay, I had to pull up my invoice. And I did look on their site at the making of this video. 6, 12. 2020. I don't know why. I was right in 2019 the other day. Uh, still. Um, these are all still on sale. So, it's good deals. I think pretty good deals. So, let's start off with, um, let me look here. It's, uh, stuff falling out and I want to make sure that I show you everything. Okay. First off is the Premier um, um, cotton fair. I don't know if you've ever heard of this. It's actually a really, it's pretty nice cotton. I have had it before. It is, it is on a little bit of a finer side of a cotton though. But it's a nice soft cotton and it would make a beautiful, beautiful garments. This one is uh, 52 cotton. Um, it's a cotton acrylic blend. I'm sorry. 52 cotton, 48 acrylic. It's still very nice. I would classify it as like a 2 weight. Um, it's 317 yards, 299 meters, 3.5 ounces, machine washable, and do not put it in the dryer. And let's see. Um, let's see where it's made. Yeah, they classify it as a number two also, made in Turkey. So these are three, a bag of three. I got all three of these for $8. That's a pretty good deal. Um, if you ask me, I didn't think that was too shabby and they're still on sale at the making of this video 6 12 2020 Okay, three for eight dollars. So I got those 
And I also got them in another color. I didn't have a lot of colors left. This one. So the color of this one's called Sunshine Day. Sunshine Day. Remember that off of Brady Bunch, the movie or the show? I'm gonna talk a lot in this video. I'm just warning you, I'm gonna talk a lot. And this one's called uh, Cotton Candy. Evelyn would like something out of that. Three for eight bucks. Can't beat that. Okay, and now I'm gonna move down the list. Okay, then they had their Aurora yarn. They didn't have a lot of colors of this left at the when I <clears throat> when I bought it. They could have more now, but uh, this is a three pack also. Three pack of them for eight dollars. So you get three in a bag for eight dollars. Not eight each, just eight dollars. And the Aurora Premier Aurora is a um, they classify it as a medium weight number four. It's definitely a bulky five. Um, machine wash, uh, dry flat. It's pretty though. Feels good. Scarfable. Nice. 100% acrylic, 166 yards or 152 meters. The color I have in my hand is called Tornado. I think that's pretty. That makes a pretty fall project. Um, yeah, where's it made at? Where's it made? I'm gonna guess Turkey. Made in Turkey. Nice. So yes, the Aurora is nothing new. I've had this before. Like I said, they do classify it as a four weight. Um, you know, I consider it a bulky five, but it is a roving style yarn. So there are spots that it could be four weight, but it looks more overall to be a five. But that's just my own assessment of it. We'll just say between a four and a five, more towards a five. Three pack, eight bucks, can't beat it. Still on sale, 6-12-2020. Then I got in another color. Ooh, I like this one. I like brown though. So, brown is my favorite color. Beautiful. This one is called, oh, that's nice. Scarfable means I would wear it on my skin. The color of this one is called Good Earth. That's pretty. I like it though. Brown's my, my color. Three of them for $8. Not too bad, not too bad. Oh, I got another one. What do you know? This one is called woodland this one is very pretty too these are some of my colors my favorite colors in here i love all colors it's really hard i love all colors but i do like browns uh pumpkin colors avocado colors green colors moss, moss colors mustard colors those type of colors are my favorites but i love rainbow too so it's hard really i like them all this one's called woodlands that's very very gorgeous i love the colors in that one Three pack, eight dollars. Still, check it out. Let's see what we got next. What's coming up next? Okay, so now I'm gonna get into universal yarn that I have not had before. I only got one of those. That's weird. Okay. Now this is Universal Cotton Supreme. Let's read it. Now, Universal, if you have not heard of Universal, Universal Yarns, you know how yarns are sometimes, there's, there's lower end yarns or higher end yarns. I would consider Universal to be in the middle. It's not cheap yarn. It's not the super expensive yarn, but it's a well-made, nice quality yarn. So this one is called Universal Yarns Cotton Supreme. And it comes in a hank. It is a very nice soft cotton, um, similar to the fill of, of a nice Pima cotton. Um, and it says 100% cotton, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 180 yards, classified as a medium, a weight number four, made in Turkey. Machine a washable and dryable. Produced exclusively for Universal Yarns with the finest fibers. It's nice. It's, it's the color I have here is aqua. I'm going to make Evelyn something out of this, probably. That's that's nice. It's it's very, very soft cotton. I would not waste this cotton on dish towels or dish rags. Definitely not. I would not use it for anything in the kitchen. This would be garment making cotton. That's It's very, very nice. I like it a lot. Um, I don't like that it's hanked. I hate having to ball it up. But I got a yarn ball winder, but I do it old the old fashioned way. But you know what? That's okay. So, um, Universal Cotton Supreme. Now they have it in a DK weight and they also have it in a worsted, which is what I have, which is the four weight. Oh, 
it's really it's really nice now it is a uh, regular price is um, 1050 a Hank they have it on sale right now for 682 and that is for oh 180 yards it's 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 nice it is a nice cotton I won't lie I mean it's a nice cotton but I have cotton similars Pima cottons that are more yardage for less money but it doesn't mean that I don't like it and it doesn't mean that I might not I still might buy it again if it's on sale but uh, I definitely would have never played the full price for it even though it's universal it's a brand um, 682 mm -mm. I bought it I bought it you know the colors are gorgeous it's a pretty aqua color you got I mean and I got one white, really, to go with it because I was going to make Evelyn something out of it and trim it in white. I always want to make Evelyn stuff. Evelyn's been wanting a lot of dresses lately for some reason. And then I got a hank of white in it also because I was going to, like I said, make Evelyn something out of it. Um, it is a very nice yarn. But like I said, I do have similar, uh, like, Pima cottons here with more yardage that are less money. Um... Would I buy it again? Maybe if it was a little bit cheaper. But I do recommend, I mean, it's, it's, it's a real nice cotton. Great for garments, uh, spring, summer garments. Um, this will be made for something. Evelyn's going to make Evelyn something for summer out of this. I wouldn't waste it on a bag. I wouldn't waste it on kitchen, kitchen things like that. This is meant nice cotton for garments. I, that's what I would do with it. That would be my assessment. I would probably... I, you know, I might buy it again, maybe if they had a color like that one that I did, didn't have in, that I wanted really bad that they didn't have in um, other cottons that I didn't get that are very similar. But I'm not dissing it. It's a nice yarn. This, uh, I don't know, a little bit more than I want to I pay for it. Um, that. Okay, so I'm kind of all over the place. So this was something. Let's see what this is. It's again, like I like mustard colors. <laughs> I like mustard. This is Universal Bamboo uh, Bloom. Bamboo Bloom. Well, Universal Bamboo Bloom. These were regular $449, $291. I didn't think that was a bad price, but it is a special type of yarn. Yeah, you would have to get used to. Look at the difference in thicknesses of some of those. It's got that real thick roving in it, and then it's got some thinner roving wound with the different the shine in it. Um, let's read about it. So they classify it as a bulky five, and of course it's going to run from a four to a six probably in some places. So classifying as a, as a five is probably right on. So it's hand wash and lay flat to dry it is 48 percent bamboo 44 wool and 8 acrylic that's a nice mix of fibers 3.5 ounces 154 yards the color oh made in turkey the color is called spicy mustard oh that's a color after my own heart so i thought that was a killer deal 291 it's this type of yarn um as you can see it goes from thick to thin would make a very interesting scarf, cowl. Um, I probably wouldn't make a bag with it. Um, shawl, it'd make something interesting like that, but it would have to be probably wintry uh, because of the bulkiness of the yarn. It's very nice. You could tell there's wool in it. You could tell that there's bamboo in it. The slickiness of the bamboo is right here. And the fuzziness of the wool is right here. Definitely scarfable. I think I will probably make an inner. I will probably make a cow, some type of infinity scarf out of it. I think that would look super cool with this type of yarn that goes from thin like that to a very thick like that. It makes an interesting project unique if you like that type of thing. And for two ninety one, if that's what I said already, um, you can't beat that price really for the wool for the content being wool and bamboo blend is nice um and then i got it in another color 
I don't know why I wouldn't have got more color for that. That might maybe that's all they had. I don't know. This one is gorgeous. Beautiful. I love it. Mahogany. I like mahogany. Whenever I stained wood, I like to stain it mahogany color. Those two would go really pretty together. I don't know. I think so. That's just me though. Those are me. Those are my colors. It's a nice yarn. It's a good price. Definitely would buy that again in a heartbeat. Nice Premier. Now this is something I've had before from Premier. Um, and I have this exact color here. I just needed more of it to make the project that I wanted to make with it. So I'll show you um, a little bit about it. Now this is the uh, Classic Shades Frenzy. It's a roving style yarn, very scarfable. You know, you can make something and wear a scarf out of it. It is. There we go. All right. Um, so at 70 acrylic, 30 wool, 158 yards. Um, they classify it as a bulky uh, five yarn, probably. Yes. Four to five. Something like that. Made in Turkey. Machine washed. Lay flat to dry. Oh, yeah. I like the color of this one. It's so pretty. It's called Creekside. Like I said, I already have uh, three skins of it that I bought uh, from them from a previous sale that they had. Um, and then I needed three more because um, I'm saving it for a winter project. Beautiful. Ain't that pretty? That's gorgeous. You can't tell me that's not pretty. Look at that brown and that copper in it. I guess if you don't like brown, you're probably like, ooh, I love brown and brown with that copper. That is some gorgeous, gorgeous yarn. Beautiful. Now, the Frenzies are $3.24 right now on sale. I don't think that's a bad price since it does have a little bit of wool in it, 158 yards. It's not bad considering how stinking pretty it is. I would buy it again in a heartbeat at that price. Very, very pretty. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I also got it in another color. No, I didn't. That's something different. Maybe I didn't. Oh, I did. I did. I did. Evelyn's colors. Evelyn's colors. This is the classic frenzies again. I just showed you. Beautiful, beautiful. This one is called Thrill Ride. That is gorgeous colors. Gorgeous purples and pinks. Reds, reds wrapped around some peach colors. That's beautiful, beautiful yarn. It's a very busy yarn. It's going to take the right pattern to make a busy yarn work, but it's very pretty. I don't think I'll have problem finding something to make with that, actually. I like it. I do. I like it a lot. Um, let me make sure I didn't get any more of those. I did get another frenzy. I couldn't help it. They were cheap. They were cheap. You can't pass a this is bad. Don't pass with a cheap deal. So this is the same yarn again, only another color. Very pretty. This one is called uh, Madreus. Probably didn't say that right, but that's pretty. I like it. That, I don't know what I would do with this color. And this, like I said, this could be used for anything. It's, you know, it's soft enough. To make a scarf, cow, shawl, poncho, sweater, you know, stuff like that is what you would use this roving top, you know, this roving. That's beautiful. Mmm, that's pretty stuff. Okay, I think that's all the frenzy that I got. It is. Oh, I got some more of that bamboo yarn. Yes, I did. Look at this pink. Evelyn's going to flip out over this. She's going to want something in this for sure. The color of this one is called Pink. Pink, or pink Orchid. That's pretty. No, Pink Orchard. I'm sorry. That's gorgeous. Of all colors. You guys have that problem? Let me know in the comments. You're like, I'm like, I love these colors. And then I see another color and I'm like, I love those colors. I just can't choose a color. Okay, I can. It's brown and, you know, earth tones. But, man, I do like the brights and pinks and stuff, too. Told you I was going to talk a lot. I can't help it. You guys can shut me up anytime. Feel free to shut me up anytime. Like I've said before, I know that I can get annoying. My daughter, she's 17. She tells me I, I'm annoying all the time. So, 
It's true. It's true. Plus, it's hot in here. Okay. And I have a hat on. I can't take it off because my hair looks bad. Okay. Now, this is Universal Yarns Classic Shades. It's different than the Frenzy. It may look a bit similar, but it's different. As you can see, it's not quite as busy, I would guess, you could say. See the difference? It's a little, a little bit busy. I guess that's why they call it Frenzy. Um, so the classic shades run $2.59. That is a deal. I'm telling you, that's not a bad price. Let's read about it. Um, oh, I already have this color. Well, now I have more of it. Now I have more of it. Okay, so machine wash cool, lay flat to dry. It's 70 acrylic, 30 wool, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams. Um, they classify this one as a medium weight number four. It's a roving, so yeah, you know, you're going to go, you know, from four, three to five weight. This classified as a four is good. Um, made in Turkey. I like it. Nice and scarfable. That's beautiful, beautiful color. The, the color name is called Campfire. So it is, you know, 197 yards, so almost 200 yards for 259. Some of you might be like, that's kind of expensive. It's not for Universal Yarns. That's a pretty yarn. It's gorgeous. That's a good deal. It's a good deal. I don't think you would be disappointed if you like roving style yarns like I do. I don't think you would be disappointing it in any of this uh, Universal Yarns uh, roving style that I've showed you so far. Um, now, like I said, the bamboo, though, that's going to take a special project. So, But it's a good deal. It's hard to pass up those good deals. Um, so that was the classic. Here's another classic color I got. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty. My gosh, that's pretty. Look at all those colors in that. Special project for that. I see a hat and a scarf set. That's what I see. This is the classic shades again. The color I have in my hand is called Neon Kaleidoscope. That is gorgeous. Like I said, I'm earth tones, but man, do I love those rainbows. That is beautiful. That's a beautiful yarn. That will be a hat and scarf set. I guarantee you that. Um, then I got some more classic shades. This one is called, same thing, just a different color. It's a nice yarn. Chili peppers. I like that too. Pretty. Chili peppers. So I got that. Okay. One more classic shade. And then one more yarn. And that's it. That's all that was in. One more type of yarn. This one's called Midnight Ride. It's pretty. It's always hard to tell with these yarns. You've got to kind of dig in them to see the colors that are going to emerge from the center, you know? That bright red and stuff. It's beautiful. Purples, greens, blues. Very pretty. Two fifty nine. dollars What a deal. What a deal. What a deal. All right. I feel like I uh, robbed Premier for some of this yarn. Really. A lot of it was a good deal. Okay, I got one more here to show you. Um, I think. Now this is their classic. They had other Premier yarn that I did not get. Um, I thought the price wasn't right for me. But you're more, you know, you could check it out. I really wanted to try it. I still might get it and try it, but it seems like it might be a little bit expensive. But you never know. It could be like, okay. So, this is called Classic Shades Sequence Light. I have had this before. $3.24 is what it is right now on sale at the making of this video. 6 20 20, 20. No, 6 12 20, 20. Sorry, 6 12 20, 20. Classic Shades Sequence Light. It is a roving style yarn, and it does have uh, sequins in it. You see them shining? Sequence is not at all scratchy. The yarn is not at all scratchy. Uh, what you could do this with this yarn would be limitless, you know. As with any of these roving yarns, you could pretty much make anything that you wanted out of them. 
Um, this one is 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 264 yards. And they classify as a lightweight. And again, it is a roving style. So it's going to go from three to four. So it is a thicker lightweight though. I would classify it more towards four, but we'll go between three and four. It's very, very pretty. Made in Turkey, hand wash, lay flat. I feel like I'm all over the place. I drank way too much caffeine. 74 acrylic, 22 wool, and 4% uh, sequence. That's a very pretty color too. The color I have in my hand is called Aquarius. That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous. So, 324. I don't know. I mean, that's nuts. It's a good deal. It's a good deal. 264 yards. Lightweight three. I classify it kind of more closer to a four. And it's sequence. That's a killer deal. That's a killer deal there. So I got it in this color also, stellar, gorgeous. Look at those blues in that. That is pretty in the sequences. It's blue also. That is gorgeous yarn. Like I said, it's not, it's not, the sequence is not bothersome at all. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's very, very pretty. And then I got this one which is called antique cobalt very pretty i love blue and brown together i think they are gorgeous and this is no exception to that look at that very very pretty again this one's got blue sequence in it dark blue sequence brown mixed in it very very pretty and i got one more color to show you and it is not a disappointment. Uh, Jubilant. I don't know if I said that right, but I can tell you that it's very pretty. This one has purple sequence along with blues and greens. Dig inside. Never know what you're going to find. Looks to be, it appear like some brick red there in the center. Turquoise dark purple pinks that is pretty pretty yarn you gotta love that yeah this is the same i think yeah so you can see the red more in this one than you can in this one but they're the same they're just wound different so a very pretty yarn that's it that's all i got man i got some good deals i tell you what i got a lot of yarn here i did get a lot of yarn and i don't tell people what i pay for yarn because you know you can always figure it out at the end but I definitely feel like I got my money's worth um, I love everything that I got I think everything was really really good deals the only thing I would be hesitant about would be this cotton and not that it's not a very soft very beautiful cotton it's just as I mentioned um, I can and I do know of yarns that cottons that are, look, that are just as soft with more yardage for less money. Um, but it doesn't mean, like I said, it doesn't mean I won't buy it again if they have a color that I want. Like this, I could not find in my other uh, cottons that I get that are, that are soft like this. But uh, I would buy it again only at the sale price. I would never pay 10 bucks for it. Six is, is kind of seven is it was seven wasn't it six something whatever it was is pushing it for for that but it's it's a very nice cotton i mean you wouldn't be disappointed if you got it i guarantee you that if you love roving yarns um you wouldn't be disappointed in any of the roving yarns that i showed you um which would be pretty much any of the universal yarns besides that cotton and besides this um bamboo wool i love this killer deal two dollars and something for it is remember though special project you have to have a special project for something like this it can run from really thin to thick um i think mine will be made in the scarves and cowls probably for this winter when i do tutorials on that but it's super cool yarn um and these cotton fairs nice three for eight bucks killer deal same with the aurora i'm not unhappy with this at all that's it i like everything i got I like it a lot. 
I liked it a lot. But of course, I figured I would. I figured I would. Now, what I tell you? 612 2020. Head over to Maria. Check out those mystery bags I told you. I bought a few. I'll open them up when they get here and let you let you know what was in them. But I don't know if they'll have them anymore by the time that they came. I don't know what's going to be in them. Like I said, I always recommend you reading the reviews and making sure if you think it's going to be something that you like. But I've never gotten a bad mystery bag from um, Premiere. I've always liked everything that I've got. I mean, they've always been good. Um, and I like all this yarn. I think the Universal yarns, most of it, that I, all of it that I bought was pretty good priced. Some of it on their site, it was a little high for me, so I steered away from it. But I'm happy. That's all that matters, right? At the end of the day, you open your box of yarn and you're happy with everything that you got. You look at it and you think about what you're going to make with it. As long as it puts a smile on your face, it was all worth it, right? In the end. Well, I hope I put a smile on your face. Remember, I'm not affiliated with Premiere. I bought this all myself. No affiliated links. I'm only telling you in my honest opinion. I think they got some killer deals going on right now. 6-12-2020. I gotta say that a lot because this video could be up for two years and people will go there two years later and be like, what's going on? There's no sale. 6-12-2020. Go check it out. I'm happy with it all. Thanks everybody for watching. Hey, I'll catch you on my next video, okay? Bye-bye.